Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shiddhar Tomani, Consultant Interventional Cardiologist at RN Tagore Hospital, Mukundapur, Kolkata. Today I will be discussing about a very important investigation in cardiology practice, probably the most important investigation to all the cardiologists that is angiography and which leads to interventional procedure like angioplasty when a coronary artery disease is detected. So I will discuss in brief the practical steps which we do in the cath lab or in the OT settings uh, to do an angiography. Because whenever we face a patient uh, who has a history of angina that is chest pain arising from heart blocks that is coronary artery blocks or when the patient has a uh, history of myocardial infarction or other milder forms of heart attack. So those patients are advised to do an coronary angiography. Now most of the patients, almost all the patients are really afraid of this procedure. Whenever we ask them or advise them angiography, the first thing is they ask uh, or they think that it is a complex surgical procedure it will lead to lot of pain, it will lead to uh, some big incisions, some big cuts in the uh, skin and uh, probably that is, that is something very risky and very complex. But if I explain you uh, about how it is done or why I mean uh, what are the basic principles of doing this angiography then probably you will uh, be able to overcome that fear and you will be more relaxed about this uh, procedure. So let us begin. See first of all angiography means uh, at the full form of angiography it should be said as coronary angiography because angiography means picture or image of a vessel. Now when we image we take the picture of the cardiac vessels that is called coronary angiography. So coronary arteries are the arteries present on the surface of the heart and they supply blood to the cardiac muscles. Now when we call that the patient has a heart attack, we mean to say that there is some block in those coronary arteries. So we need to take image of that coronary artery and we need to find out what is the block what is the percentage of the block, what is the nature of the block, whether there is calcium deposition more or whether there is cholesterol deposition, whether there is fibrous tissue, so the nature of the block and the extent of the disease, what is the length of the block, the diameter of the block, so we need to know the detailed anatomy. For that we need to take picture of the coronary arteries. Now let me draw and show you the, uh, the principle of how it is done and why it is required. Suppose this is a man standing or a person standing. I am drawing a very simple diagram to make you understand of how it is done. So it is clear. Now the heart is lying over here. And this heart has three coronary arteries, one this is LAD, two this is LCX and three this is RCA. So these are the arteries which are supplying blood to the heart by means of different branches like this. From the heart there is a artery called aorta coming out like this. So this is the main blood pipeline arising from the heart like this and they have different branches which supply blood to the hand, to the head, to the neck like this, the hand like this and to the legs. So you can see that there is an entire network and they have different branches like this. So there is an end, this is the baseline, the skeleton of the entire arterial system. 
this is the main artery it divides into two branches goes to the legs feet so and so it goes to the hands and like this now in angiography what we do is we need to see these small arteries these ones so how can we see that we make a channel in the groin suppose in this part or in the hand this is the hand so in this part so this is an artery connected to the heart so now we will puncture we will make a channel just like we do a channel in during giving salines or injections to the patient similar channel slightly thicker slightly longer so we will make a channel either here or here we will take a needle first we will anesthetize this area this is the area where we puncture during doing it from the hand and this is the groin area which we puncture during doing it from the legs so we can do angiography either from the hand or from the legs so while doing it from the hand we anesthetize this local area by the simple injection of 1 ml of lignocaine and that that is the only pain the patient will face the pain of that injection and then this area will be anesthetized the video will clearly show how we anesthetize this area and then we make a small puncture we introduce a wire and a sheath sheath means a channel sort of thing through this channel we will take a catheter catheter means a pipe and this pipe will go 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 up to this area and it will sit inside this in the ostium in the mouth of these coronary arteries and then from outside we will push a injection we will push dye and we will image these arteries when the dye will travel into these arteries we will take pictures so basically what we are doing the same thing we can do from the femoral we can do we can do a puncture in the groin area just below the abdomen and we can introduce a similar sheath here we will introduce a catheter a pipe sort of thing a small narrow pipe it will go into the heart like this like this and it will sit inside the coronary arteries and then again we will push a dye and we will take image so basically what we are doing is we are uh, puncturing and making a channel either here in the hand or in the leg and we are anesthetizing this, that area with local anesthetic we are not giving any general anesthesia the patient will be absolutely conscious the patient can hear all our uh, conversations everything the patient can see his or her own diagram of the coronaries so everything he is fully conscious fully awake fully cooperating with us and we will introduce a pipe which is a painless procedure when we are introducing the catheter inside this channel that is a painless procedure patient will not feel anything when the catheter sits inside the coronary arteries that is also painless because those areas do not have any nerve fibers so patient will not feel any pain and then from outside we will push in some injection that is also painless and there is a big camera coming in front of the chest and taking images that camera will rotate at different angles suppose from this angle from this angle from this angle and we will take images from various angles of the coronary arteries and we will try to assess is whether there are any blocks what is the percentage what is the length and so and so so i will show you another part suppose we have introduced the catheter and the catheter is sitting in now i am drawing the heart only in a big way so this is our coronary arteries like this our catheter coming from the leg or from the hand is coming like this like this and sitting inside the mouth of this the we say ostium ostium of the coronary arteries and then we are giving injection the injection is flowing through these parts and we are taking pictures so if there is a block like this that will be detected if there is a block like this a long block so the image will detect that 
and these are all painless parts there is nothing to be afraid about it so this is the basis of coronary angiography and uh, see sometimes i i won't say because it is an invasive test i won't say it is absolutely risk free yes there sometimes occurs some complications the complication rate is only 0.1% that is one out of 1000 patients can have serious complication uh, during the procedure but that is very small 0.1% only now you consider the risk of the disease suppose a patient we are advising angiography only in those patients who are having a heart attack or who are suffering from a coronary disease and are likely to get a heart attack so if a patient gets a heart attack the risk of that disease is very high so to save a person from a heart attack we are taking this 0.1 percent risk so that is nothing to be afraid about and i have already discussed about the painless procedure I, in sometimes when we do it from the hand sometimes we may have slight spasm or pain but if we do it from the femoral that is from the legs that is almost absolutely painless thing it takes five minutes or ten minutes to do unless the anatomy is very complex or our catheter is not sitting so on an average each and every case it takes five to ten minutes but we prefer to admit the patient one day before for keeping the patient in fasting giving some pre medications doing the shaving of the hairs so that is why we prefer to admit the patient one day before and we sometimes uh, maybe delay his discharge by a few hours or one day uh, because the patient may be feeling pain during walking or when we make a channel if we move that part suppose we are doing it from the legs and if the patient walks after that then maybe there is a blood accumulation so due to that sometimes we uh, delay the admission i mean we uh, admit the patient earlier or discharge them later but actual procedure takes only five to ten minutes uh, so there is nothing it is not a big procedure it is not a complex procedure and uh, then i should tell you that uh, coronary angiography uh, is uh, the plain coronary angiography is the gold standard the most important and the gold standard test for uh, detecting angiogram i mean coronary artery disease many a times patient ask us or uh, they prefer doing a ct coronary angiography yes ct coronary angiography is non invasive we do not need to introduce this catheter through the uh, arteries and we sh we, uh, we need not put the catheter into the coronary disease so it is even risk, risk free more risk free but ct coronary angiograph has some disadvantages it does not always give you the actual anatomy it gives you an idea about whether there are any blocks or not we say it has a high negative predictive value that means if the coronary ct coronary angiography is negative then fine the patient is okay and we say uh, i mean we assure the patient that you don't have a disease but if corona ct angiography gives you a positive result that is if it says that there is a block then again we need to do a, a normal angiography which i discussed for so so long uh, because only in that test we will get the actual anatomy the actual length the actual uh, uh, i mean diameter of the vessel if we have to stent it if we have to do an angioplasty then from where to where we have to put in the stent so all these details are much more clearly and specifically obtained from normal plain coronary angiography that is why in high high risk cases high suspicion cases we prefer to do normal angiography coronary angiography rather than ct coronary angiography so in in a nutshell i just uh, tried i tried to uh, differentiate and explain you what is the difference between ct and plain coronary angiography so this is again very important and uh, you you can have a brief uh, outlook of how the uh, arteries look like in angiography how the blocks look like in angiography uh, the arrows indicate the blocks and uh, these blocks are opened by uh, coronary angioplasty uh, that is that is the initial part of coronary angioplasty is more or less similar 
the next steps vary a bit because through this catheter through this pipe we will now introduce a wire and a balloon and we will dilate we will inflate the balloon the balloon will compress the the deposits on both sides and then we will put in a stent inside and that stent will uh, open up the artery that stent will uh, i mean maintain or uh, regain the patent flow of the artery the flow which was narrowed down and now the stent which is an metallic spring like structure it will expand and it will trap all the deposits on the vessel wall and the inside the lumen part of the vessel will become patent and uh, will maintain the flow so maybe i i, I will discuss uh, angioplasty in a bit details in a separate video uh, but this is in in summary uh, how the angio plasty is done so the basic part of doing a channel taking a catheter are all same as coronary and in coronary angiography and angioplasty angiography is a diagnostic procedure to detect the block and angioplasty is the therapeutic procedure to open the block so don't confuse between angiography and angioplasty there is a subtle difference but both are painless and uh, the, the basic structure, the basic uh, mechanism of how we do it is similar. So uh, do not be afraid about coronary angiography, it is uh, more or less simple, very low risky and obviously remember that when your doctor is advising you a coronary angiography, uh, he uh, is doing it uh, for the sole purpose of detecting a coronary block and that will save you from a uh, uh, from a future heart attack or that will recover help you recover from a heart attack which has already occurred that will regain your cardiac flow that will improve your cardiac pumping so obviously he is doing it for some good reasons so there is nothing to be afraid of have uh, i mean rely on your doctor and be relaxed because uh, it is a huge huge number of patients every day in our r integral hospital almost 30 40 angiograms are done per day so you can imagine that it, it is such a common procedure so many patients are doing angiography day in and day out and many a times we do it as a uh, as a day procedure i mean um, we admit the patient in the morning sometimes and we admit in the same day afternoon uh, uh, mo in, in many a cases. So it, it, is, it is not a big thing, it is not a big deal, rest assured and if your doctor advises, do angiography. Thank you.